If you're wanting to get a storefront designed for your Amazon business, then keep watching this video because I'm gonna be giving you three tips and strategies to building out the best storefront that's going to sell your product the best, increase the conversion rates on your product pages, and overall help you increase the lifetime value of every customer that you have because you're gonna be cross-selling the different products in your overall product lineup. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I introduce myself and tell you who I am and what we do inside my Amazon marketing agency, let me just give you a quick synopsis, a quick short and brief summary, you know, cut to the chase on what these three tips are for your Amazon storefront. That way, if you wanna end the video, you can stop watching if you want to. If you wanna continue, then I'm gonna be deep diving into these three tips and strategies, sharing my screen, showing you examples and things like that. So the first tip is to have a video or multiple videos. Obviously, it'd be super ideal to have multiple videos because you can have a video for each product, you can have a brand story video, you can have a testimonial compilation video. Those are really powerful for social proof, but ultimately having videos or even one video alone on your storefront page is gonna be really great. Second tip is going to be having internal links to the different product categories that you have or on your homepage, having different internal links that are gonna link over to separate pages where you deep dive into maybe one ASIN or multiple ASINs that are within that same product category, but ultimately having internal links, really nice infographic style images that are on your homepage linking over to your different category pages or product pages, that's gonna be crucial. And the third tip is to create virtual bundles so that you'll be able to easily increase that average order value and cross sell your other products in your lineup to get people to actually buy like two or three of your products at once instead of just having them buy one-offs and never coming back. So those are the three tips that I'm gonna be deep diving a little bit more into in this video, sharing my screen, showing you some example storefronts and things like that. So stick around if you're interested in seeing that. But before I do tell you who I am and what we do inside our Amazon marketing agency, let me tell you that an Amazon storefront should be basically a mini website of your overall brand. You should approach your Amazon storefront like it is a way to educate customers, like it can be a traffic destination when you're driving TikTok ads, Google search ads, or even traffic from inside the Amazon platform, you know, from your sponsored brand ads that are gonna link over to your storefront. Front. So look at your Amazon storefront as your own website, your own space inside the Amazon platform that you can be creative with and that ultimately you can drive traffic to get them really warmed up on your products and what you guys offer that is different than your competitors. And then ultimately you want them to, when they click on that actual product listing link, that's gonna take them to that individual product listing page, you want that to be the end destination for them to actually buy. You don't want them to continue browsing around Amazon, looking at your competitors, you want them to be so sold by the time that they click on that one link to your product page that they actually add to cart and buy. So that should be your main goal for your Amazon storefront. All right, so now let me tell you who I am. Then after that, I'm gonna share my screen and show you some example storefronts and we're gonna deep dive into those three tips. All right, so real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media Agency. At EMA, we completely revamp Amazon listings by doing top tier product photo and video shoots at very affordable prices prices. After we take a bunch of white background photos and a bunch of lifestyle photos, then we edit those up into high converting sales driving infographics by inserting powerful sales copy that drives Amazon shoppers to actually add to cart and make a purchase. The product videos that we create substantially boost product page conversion rates, Amazon storefront page conversion rates, and overall build a lot of trust and credibility that shoppers are going to have with brands. Aside from all the creative work that we do with photos and videos, we also do a lot of Amazon PPC management, TikTok ads management, Google search ads management. We build landing pages for off Amazon marketing funnels and strategies. We build Amazon brand stories, EBC and A plus content sections, write blogs and do email marketing. So if you want free access to our Amazon listing checklist or you wanna book a free consulting call with me, then go to emaamz.com. So now let's carry on with the video. All right, so now you should be able to see my screen and we're gonna kick things off with that first tip, which is to have a video or multiple videos on your Amazon storefront. So this is one of my clients here, Roof Packs. Now, Roof Packs does it really well because they've got multiple videos created for their products and they use multiple videos on their actual homepage of their storefront. So as you can see here, got a video right there, then scroll down a little bit. They've got an infographic image, which now this isn't something I'm a fan of, but if you click on this, it's gonna link 
you directly to an actual product page, which I don't think that should be what it does. I think it should link you to one of these internal categories in here because they actually have different variations of this Roofpacks bag. So I think it should link you to an internal product category, which shows you the different size options that they have. And then maybe it has some more images and videos on that product page. Again, up here, it can be found in the nav bar. And basically, it's gonna pre-sell you a little bit more than just this image of just linking you right to the product page. So I don't think that should do what that image does when you click on it. Then they've got some cross-selling opportunities right here. So they've got some images, you know, talking about their rooftop cargo bags. They've got tie-down equipment that they offer. They also have a portable air inflator. And then they have other car accessories like tie-down straps and things like that. So when you click on this, it actually is going to link you over to a bit of a product category page showing you their toe straps, showing you their different shackles, different sets and kits that they have. So over Overall, I like where that image links you over to when you click on it, but um, if you keep scrolling down, they have a little bit of an installation video right here showing you how to actually install their hottest seller, which is their rooftop cargo bag. You scroll down a little bit more and you have another video right here. So what I think would be really powerful is if you had a video in here, you know, among the three, let's just say you went with three videos on your homepage, and one of those videos was a compilation testimonial video where you get people to actually speak highly and positively about your brand, about your products, you make it into a compilation. Maybe there's five different testimonials featured in one video and you edit that video up nicely, put it on your homepage. And what this is going to do is build a lot of trust and credibility with your brand, with multiple products in your brand and your overall lineup of your products. And that way you're building that relationship with that customer. So they're more likely to buy one product and they're even more likely to buy multiple products from you after seeing that compilation testimonial video that you would have. Now, real quick plug, if you need any help getting any of these videos, created for your storefront page. Me and my team would love to help you out. Again, go to emaamz.com. All right, so moving on to my second tip, which is to have internal links linking over to your different product categories and different pages that are highlighting specific products in your overall lineup. So as you can see here, we, if we look at their nav bar, they've got a drop down menu right there, which is really great because they've got multiple variations showing for their different rooftop cargo bags. Then they have a dedicated page for their portable tire inflator. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna see how well does this page actually sell me on their roof packs air compressor for tires? So if we scroll down, you know, they've got the link, they've got the price. As you can see, they got the add to cart button right here, which is great because on the product page, there's gonna be a lot of competition that may steal your sale away. So if you have an add to cart button right there on your storefront, you can bypass those competitors potentially stealing the sale from you. Now, if we scroll down, you can see they got a video specific for this one product, which is super great. You definitely wanna have a lot of videos, have them as wide as you know brand and showing multiple products in one video but then also have specific videos highlighting and showing one specific product also when you have a video that's showing one specific product you can run that as a sponsored brand video ad bidding on certain keywords or showing up in certain product categories and it's going to only be showing that one product so it's going to be super relevant to anybody searching for products in that product category now overall as i scroll through this page i'm noticing that they've got a lot of great infographic style images that are showing the features and benefits of this product they've actually got another video right here. I didn't see that little play button right there, but it does a great job of showing you a 360 of the product and the uh, features and benefits, things like that. So it shows you it's portable, shows you how to actually use it. So I've actually done a good amount of research into this product and it is very versatile. I mean, you can pump up balls, you know, sport, you know, footballs and basketballs. You can pump up air mattresses like you can see right there. You can pump up tires on vehicles and things like that. You can plug it into the wall. You can plug it into the car. So I think that they could have done a better job showing you all the different uses cases of this product. You know, it can be battery powered, as you can see right there. So I think that they should have had more images in here showing all the different ways to use it. Because again, if you pre-sell them really hardcore on your Amazon storefront so that they're already ready to add to cart and buy it if they visit that product page or directly from the storefront, they can just add to cart. This is the place that you want to be in. You want to use your storefront as your website, as your landing page, try to build it out as much as possible so that they don't even need to go to the product page. They can actually actually just get enough information about that product from the storefront page right here to be able to buy it 
you know, add to cart and check out and then bypass all the competitors potentially grabbing their attention and stealing the sale. Now, the third tip that I wanna share with you is a virtual bundle. Now, not a lot of sellers are actually doing this. I couldn't even find an example of a virtual bundle being used on a storefront. I know that a lot of my seller clients have virtual bundles, but they're not necessarily putting them on their storefront, but I highly recommend to you, create a virtual bundle with multiple products in your lineup and then add it to your storefront and put it on a specific category in your actual storefront. Now, here's another example. This is called Dexa Company. It's another client of ours. They sell a lot of these like art pieces, really pretty artwork for the wall and your home and things like that. So I just wanted to show you how great their storefront actually looks. So here you can see the main headline image actually has a couple products in there. Now, I'm not sure how they actually did this, but this is a video that is kind of auto playing. It's like a GIF or something. It's not exactly a video that you have to click play on, but it kind of just autoplay, so I'll have to reach out to them and ask them how they set that up. But I do recommend having some kind of autoplay video because it gives you more information about the, the products in their overall product lineup. But got really great design on their actual storefront. They're linking to different products directly from there. Now, with these kind of products where it's just a mug, you know, you don't need to do a whole bunch of selling for that. So I think it's fine that they're just linking directly to the product page with that. Now, this client has a lot of products in their overall product lineup. So they've got different categories. You know, they sell like hundreds of mugs, hundreds of art pieces. Now, some of their products are very specific for certain types of people. So they've got like Christmas themes, they've got like house blessings. You know, if you just moved into a house and you wanna make it more home-like, they've got mom-related products, state-related products. So it's really smart that they have it all broken into categories like this. And then I don't believe that they're doing this, but they should have their best-selling, most popular products featured on their homepage. I don't believe these are their hottest selling products just based on review counts, right? there, but they are featuring a couple of their products on their actual homepage of their storefront. Now, what I really do like about this storefront design is that in their nav bar, they've got links to a lot of different categories, and then they've got a drop down right here, which shows even more categories right here. So let's just click on soap dispensers and see what that product category looks like. So they've got mostly just images that are going to link you directly to the product pages. Now, there's definitely a way to improve this page right here, you know, they could have a couple of images that are the infographic style images, just showing maybe their hottest selling soap dispenser, showing more details, talking about their quality there, talking about maybe how it's made in America, or even a video on this page showing, you know, doing a little 360, showing scale, giving an idea of, you know, knocking on it, showing maybe it's glass, things like that. But that's gonna kind of pre-sell people on the overall quality of the soap dispenser. Then it would just come down to them deciding what design they wanna have on their soap dispenser. So I think this product category page could be built out a little bit better. You know, it's not really doing much of a pre-selling job, but it is doing a great job of cross-selling. And then going back to my third tip, virtual bundles, they could even create some virtual bundles. You know, maybe you get like a mug, paired up with a soap dispenser, and then you pair that with one of their house blessing or state plaques that they have that you can put on the wall. So maybe you have like a bathroom virtual bundle for this specific client, and you give the shopper a little bit of a discount when they buy your bathroom bundle or your spare bedroom bundle or your dining room bundle. You know, you create these different virtual bundles, you make it easy to give somebody a gift. Usually people wanna spend about 60 to $100 on a gift, so you make your price point around that range, and when you give somebody this gift, it seems like a very well thought out gift and it all kind of goes together because it's pre-packaged and pre-put together by the brand. So virtual bundles for this brand would be very great because they have a massive product lineup. They've got a lot of ASINs and ultimately it's gonna help them get a potential $15 average order value up to maybe a 50, 60 or sky's the limit order value, right? But a lot higher. So that's what you should be focused on with your Amazon storefront is getting that average order value higher, selling your different products in that way, virtual bundles, creating videos, and overall having a well-built out nav bar showing different product categories and different pages dedicated to specific products that are maybe your best sellers, but ultimately putting a lot of infographic style images on those pages to really sell the shopper on buying that before they even have to click over to the actual product page. So those are my Amazon storefront tips for you. Hopefully you got value from this video. If you did, I'm sure that you'll get more value from a free consultant call that you book with me. So go to emaamz.com to book that call with me. Again, we get a free Amazon listing checklist at emaamz.com. So check that out. If you haven't yet, click the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.